Hello friends we usually go to zoo and forest to see animals which gives us a lot of joy. But there are some strange and beautiful animals in the world that you can't even imagine. Usually we see tigers, bears, giraffes and we think there can be no more beautiful animals. In today's video we are talking about all the beautiful animals of the world that maybe few people have seen. So let's start the video. Number 1 is the quokka. Quokka are small marsupials in the same family as kangaroos and wallabies native to southwestern Australia. They are widely known worldwide due to their unique facial expression, which looks very much like a smile, and this is something humans have spread online in recent years. Quokka are so beloved for their expressions. Most people who find them in the wild do exactly what they shouldn't, they take a selfie with them. This has resulted in scores of adorable pictures of people posing with wild animals, but it has also resulted in several bites because, well, they're wild animals. Regardless, Quokka generally aren't fearful of humans, and their penchant for smiling has dubbed them, the world's happiest animals. But while they are definitely cute, they shouldn't be interacted with in the wild, as they are currently listed as vulnerable and are in need of protection. Number 2 is the sea otters. Sea otters are some of the cutest animals in the world, and while that has a lot to do with their features, their social behavior is what brings most people to zoos to see them. Sea otters regularly hold one another's hands while they sleep. This serves as a survival mechanism that keeps them together so they don't drift apart. It also mirrors human behavior, which is something we find cute in other species. The sea otter is only concerned with not floating away, but for a human, it's little more than adorable behavior on display. Another interesting behavior of sea otters is that they have a pouch where they keep their favorite rocks, which they use to break open various shellfish. They have also been known to play with toys in captivity and makeshift toys in the wild, which is similar to the behavior of puppies. Much of their behavior appears to mirror our own. But their physical features are appealing to most people as well. They have large noses and eyes sitting in a rounded face, which are all within the baby schema that attracts people to other animals. Number 3 is the fennec fox. The fennec fox is a small species of fox native to the Sahara Desert and the Sinai Peninsula. They are highly adapted to their desert environment, thanks in large part to their ears. In mammals, the larger the ears, the more capable they are at dissipating heat, which is the main reason the African elephant has the largest ears in the world. For the fennec fox, their ears aren't the only adaptations that make it possible for them to live in the desert. Their kidneys and fur coat are likewise adapted to make it possible to survive in a hot, water-poor environment. When it comes to cuteness where humans are concerned, they are prized by people for their massive ears, which are the largest ear to body ratio in the canid family. That's an important distinction, as the fennec fox is the world's smallest canid in the world. Their maximum weight has them at between 2.9 to 4.3 pounds, 1.3 to 1.9 kilograms. Fennec foxes have not been domesticated, but they are often sold as exotic pets. This is accomplished through taming after removing pups from their mothers to hand raise them. Number 4 is the koala. Koala bears are cute, they're cuddly, and they should be avoided at all costs. It's generally accepted that these marsupials endemic to Australia are considered cute by most people. Still, koalas are another animal that is cute but should be avoided. This is due to their sharp teeth and claws, which they are more than ready to use if they feel threatened. Koalas are listed as threatened, and their numbers took a severe hit from the 2020 Australia wildfire season. Despite widespread habitat loss, the koala's survival may be helped by the simple fact that we think they're cute. People are more inclined to help save a species if we consider it cute. This is evident by how much time and money go into protecting the koala vs saving a species of slug. 
One of the main features we find adorable in koalas is their large, round heads and small features. These mirror the heads of our own babies, which goes a long way in attracting people to their plight. Other aspects, like the fact that they sleep for 20 hours a day, move slowly, and have fussy ears don't hurt their widespread appeal. Number 5 is the meerkats. Meerkats are small mongooses native to southern Africa, and they are some of the cutest social animals on the planet. They live in large packs of up to 30 individuals and have a quirky survival instinct. It calls for one or more meerkats in a group to sit or stand on their hind legs outside their burrow to watch for predators. This gives them their well-known stance that can be seen in zoos around the world. But for most people, it's not a survival instinct, it's just cute behavior. In reality, it's anything but cute. As they are on constant alert for predatory birds and other threats. A typical meerkat has a broad head, enlarged eyes, small outer ears, and a pointed snout. All of its facial features make it cute according to the baby schema. While the adults have their appeal, meerkat babies are disturbingly cute, more so than most baby animals. Because of their size, their heads are enlarged, and so are their eyes. They grow into their bodies as they mature, but the babies often awoke and, or, response from most people. This is also true of meerkats, who altruistically care for each other's babies, which is rare in most species. Number 6 is the slow loris. If you've ever seen those plush toys with impossibly large eyes, that's one of the ways toy manufacturers use our innate desire for cuteness to entice a purchase. One of the animals that don't need any help in that area is the slow loris. There are multiple slow loris species, but they all share some of the same key features, which we find to be universally adorable. The most prominent of them is their enlarged eyes, which weren't evolved to make them desirable to humans, rather. They are an adaptation to their nocturnal lifestyle. Slow lorises have a small snout and nose and enlarged eyes, which check multiple boxes on the baby schema. As a result, most people who see them consider them to be cute, but their cuteness should not entice anyone to approach these tiny primates. The bite of a slow loris is highly toxic, which is rare among mammals. It is derived from licking a sexual gland on their arm, which secretes a liquid that combines with their saliva to become toxic. They spread this substance on their fur as a deterrence to predators. Slow lorises are cute, but they're more of a look but don't touch kind of species. Friends comment which of these animals you like. If you like the video, give it a like. And subscribe the channel. Stay healthy everyone. Stay well. Thank you.